What's up everyone, welcome back to where I beat Elden Ring with every weapon in the game. This time I'm using the Blasphemous Blade. I wanted something fun after the Rapier, because I did not have fun with the Rapier. I'm using the Fire Scorpion Charm with Shard of Alexander. Uh, the Jumping Talisman, I always forget what it's called. Uh, and something else, I couldn't remember. I think it's one of the... Uh, Ring of Favors or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this was a fairly easy run. Uh, total deaths is 15 on this one. Not too bad. I also fought an uh, extra boss on here because I go after the Dung Eater Puppet. It's the only um, Spirit Ashes that I didn't have. And so I wanted to go get it. As you see, that was Margit first try, no problem. Then on to Godric. The, uh, the Ash of War on this thing, the Taker's Flame, is pretty strong uh, in how it heals you. I kind of wanted to have my character look like a uh, like a vampire. And I kind of went with this setup, which almost looks like something out of Castlevania, which I thought looked pretty cool. After Godric, I went ahead and went to Caria Manor to fight Loretta so I could start uh, Sylvanus. Syl Sylvanus? I don't know. Uh, mission to where I can get Dung Eater Puppet. Uh, first time in a while I fought Loretta, but I got her first try. It wasn't too bad. After that, go to the academy, I fight Red Wolf. This actually took me two tries. Uh, I can't remember exactly what happened on the first one, but I wrote down two tries. Uh, I think I was just trying to use Taker's Flame too much, and uh, yeah, with Wolf moves around a lot, so it's kind of hard to get off. Then on to uh, Renala. This was first try. Pretty, pretty simple fight as long as you watch out for a lot of her magic After Ranala, I went on to Makar. Oh, fuck. After Ranala, I went on to Makar, so I didn't have to get the Dictus uh, things to get up the elevator to get to Altus Plateau. I, I just think this is a little bit easier, a little bit quicker just to fight him.
My car was the first try, then I go on to the Draconic Tree Sentinel that you have to fight every fucking time to get into the capital. Kind of annoying. Unless I went through Fia's quest. But I feel like that would probably take longer. I'm not sure. But uh Draconic Tree Sentinel, first try. Getting pretty used to fighting this person. I'm only on the fifth one. Like the fifth weapon. Um, I still got like 320 something to go but uh maybe by the end of this I'll actually learn how to fight Malicus because he still gives me trouble Alright, then on to Godfrey, the PP boss. He just looks like piss. But, uh, this uh, took me four tries for some reason. I don't know, I think I was tired doing this playthrough or something. But, uh, yeah, this one took me a little while. Nothing too spectacular happens with the Morgoth fight. Got him first try. Uh, Fire Giant, two tries. Godskin Duo, got first try. Nothing too eventful happens between now and then. So I'm just going to fast forward the video just to get through these a little bit faster. And so I don't have to talk as much because I'm still not good at doing commentary. Maybe after 300 something videos I will be, but I'm trying.
And then we go on to Malekith. First try. Uh, second try. Uh, okay. Yeah. It took me six tries. This is definitely not my longest. And the Blasphemous Blade did actually pretty good work to him. It's just... He hits so damn hard. But yeah. Six tries. Not too bad. And, yeah. Get in, first try, then I go, Wee! That's from full health. <laughs> One shot. But, uh, Horror Low took me three tries. Not too bad. But, I, I'm, I, I'm ready for the run where I beat every single one of these first try. And maybe it'll happen. I have 320 something weapons to go. So. It's very possible, not on the next weapon, which I'm not going to spoil here, but the next one is not going to be fun, because for some reason, someone that says that they love me, my wife, wants me to do a run that's probably going to kill me, but uh, yeah, y'all see that one on the next one. Alright, Radagon and Elden Beast. This took me four tries. Uh, I don't think I ever died to Radagon. But I know the difficulty or like health bars and stuff doesn't go up past New Game 7. But I think Elden Beast attacks just get more and more ridiculous. Because past few runs, he's just been like throwing everything at me. But the Taker's Flame on Blasphemous Blade did absolute work to Radagon. Like, I never died to him.
And that's Elden Ring with the Blasphemous Blade. Not too hard. 15 total deaths. Not too bad. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what weapon to use next. I already have the next one in progress. But after that, I don't know what I want to use. Or if I'm just going to go back to using the basic weapons. But yeah. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you next time. I'm also going to leave a clip of me doing a PvP match where I just completely shit on this dude. Like, dude, I was just saying, hey. But, uh, anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.